Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sum values in Power Query and also group them as well. So in this example I've got some sales data showing by sales rep, sales amount, product category, and region. So if I just wanted to do a simple summation to see okay what's the total of all these sales, I can select my column here for sales amount. On the transform tab there's an option for statistics where I can do things like count values, do an average, median, max, minimum, and a sum. So if I click on one of these steps, in this case sum, then it's going to create a new step called calculated sum where it spits out that value. So this would be the equivalent of doing a sum calculation in Excel. So we could reference this step later on if we wanted to, um, to refer back to it. But if you want to do a, a summary by by different splits or by different groups, then there's a better way to do this than just using this, this sum function here. So I'm going to hit X here to remove this step. And now instead of instead of using the statistics function, I'm going to select the group by button. I'm going to click on that and it's going to allow me to select what I want to group by. So I can select that I want to group by the sales rep and my total my column name will be total sales and I want to do a summation and my column that I'm going to sum is the sales amount because that's the only one that actually has the dollar amounts. So once I hit OK, it creates a new step and now you can see it's grouped my sales by the different sales reps. So a nice neat um, or organized tally by, by reps. But let's say I wanted to split this up into a bit more detail because I had other fields I could use as well. So I'm going to click on the settings button here. So go to this step, click on this gears icon, and then instead of leaving the default as basic, I'm going to click on advanced. And now I can add more groupings to this. So if I click once, I'll have another option. Let's say product category, add another grouping. This time let's do region. And I don't have to make any changes here because I'm still doing the same summation on the sales. Well, I'm just going to group it into more, more levels. Now when I hit OK, you see I have a, a larger a larger list because now, you know, instead of uh, sales rep having one line, they've got multiple, one for each category and uh, region as well, especially if they've got uh, multiple regions for that category as well. So this may seem a little bit unorganized, so what we can do is sort this. So if I select first the sales rep, hit ascending order, then product category, ascending order, and then region ascending order. And you'll notice as I've been sorting, it hasn't overridden my previous sorts, uh, as which is what can happen in, in Excel. If you're sorting first by one column, then sort by another, this one will take over. But with Power Query, it's remembering your hierarchy. So this is the first one we see with the number one. This was the second one that we sorted based, uh, based on number two. And number three, this is the last one that we sorted. So we've got our breakdown by sales rep and then category and then region. Now, obviously, if you didn't need a breakdown by region, you just wanted to see sales rep and product category, you could go back to this grouped row step and you know remove that grouping if you wanted to and just had sales rep and product category. Go back into here and now we've lost our we've got an error here because we, we had this region sorting so if i delete this now we should be good so now we've got sales rep by product category so a bit of a simpler layout but we still have that breakdown so you can go back and make those changes and decide what you want to do um just note if you make any changes like i did such as sorting rows um power query basically is hard coding these steps in here so if i'd if i if I no longer have product category, when I when I group it, then I'm going to error out again, just like I had an error with the with the region. But as you can see with Power Query, it, it's really easy to group and summarize the data. Just use that group by function and determine you know how many levels you want to split it by and what you want to sum up. But it makes it really easy to summarize your values and group them. And now you know you can load it into Excel if you wanted to do any further analysis on this. But for Power Query, that's how we can easily sum up and group the values. If you like this video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.